after two uh, so sets of stampedes took place at rallies of uh, Chandra Babu Naidu, now Jagan Reddy speaking out and blaming the politicians squarely for those deaths. Let's just listen in uh, to what Jagan Reddy has said uh, in a span of four days, two rallies um, held by Chandra Babu Naidu in which people lost their lives following uh, stampedes that took place. It's now become very political. Thane, Thane, Pedal no Champesi, Chivariki, Waruguda TDP goes and Tagan Jesaru and Jepanter, Chanipo in a Warilo Yesilunte, A Yesilu, Tanakos and Tagan Jesaru and Chepe, Dan Nikuda, Y Pedamanishi, Upuyokin Chikune, Daranomina, Alo Chenu Chester. Uma Sudhir joining us with the latest uh, on that. Uh, Uma, of course, uh, a lot of questions there. You know, why did a second such stampede, uh, how could it have happened given that, you know, the earlier instance was uh, already there as a glaring example about what not to do. Um, and, and now uh, uh, Jagan Reddy is all out attack. Ankita, what I must point out to you is that all this very, very ugly spat between uh, Mr. Chandrababu Naidu and Mr. Jagan Mohan Reddy and the followers of both these uh, political parties is breaking out because there are elections that are coming up in 2024 to the state as well as uh, the general elections. And Chandrababu Naidu has been a tour all around the uh, state and he's been holding these public meetings, rallies, uh, road shows and also these kind of events. I must point out that the event on Sunday was uh, technically the Telugu Desam has been saying that it is organized by an NGO and as long as Mr. Naidu was there, in fact, the uh, uh, the uh, uh, arrangements went on well and uh, nothing was amiss. It was when the Sari distribution began after he left the venue that the stampede in fact happened and the accusation from the uh, YSRCP side and what the Chief Minister himself is saying is that more than 30,000 coupons were uh, uh, sent out but all the women were uh, uh, told that they must come to the place to collect those free saris and subsequently there are not that many number of counters and uh, uh, you know it was all totally chaos and confusion because of which this stampede took place and he believes that uh, he is in fact directly accusing Mr. Chandrababu Naidu of uh, being responsible for these deaths, saying that he murdered them and is trying to get political capital out of them. The Telugu Desam on its part is seeing a conspiracy in uh, the uh, stampedes happening at both these places, both events related to Mr. Chandrababu Naidu. And they are also, uh, in a sense, uh, you know, in, on social media, they have been uh, uh, starting, it started doing this campaign saying that uh, Champe Saru, uh, meaning to say that they were killed, they did not die, but they were uh, killed. Uh, so all this quite ugly. One would expect that, uh, you know, both these political parties would behave a little more, uh, uh, you know, not politics, but more about the concerns. The government, of course, today has issued a government order, which now says that uh, there should be public meetings not allowed on national highways or state highways, because that is a question of connectivity. And there is also curbs on meetings allowed on municipal roads and panchayat roads, because they are much smaller. And what the GO is suggesting is that the meeting should be shifted to open places where uh, the chances of these kind of stampedes, even if there is overcrowding, would be minimal. Of course, the Telugu Desam would see uh, kind of political motives in this. But on the face of it, they have said that uh, barring very exceptional circumstances, uh, these kind of meetings should be avoided uh, inside crowded places. Back right. Um, uh, Uma, would you say that, uh, you know, things are getting particularly heated, not just because of the deaths, but because this is this is being seen as a sort of uh, political comeback, so to speak, by Chandrababu Naidu. And, you know, this has uh, uh, the chief minister worried. Well, uh, you know, Telugu Desam is the main uh, opposition party in uh, Andhra Pradesh and there is no Congress literally and uh, BJP is uh, does certainly trying to make inroads and he would expect that uh, a, a party which has challenged him uh, quite well in 2019, of course he won those elections, but the fact that uh, they had won the elections in 2014, so it's a neck and neck always between uh, the Telugu Desam and the YSRCP and therefore the battles on social media as well as the kind of exchanges that are 
uh, uh, that happened between the uh, chief ministers, uh, the chief minister and the former chief minister, the leader of the Te Telugu Desam and the leader of the YSR Congress party, as well as between the second rung, third rung and on social media as well. It's usually a very all out war. And it is, it does look ugly when you see both these uh, top leaders, in fact, uh, talking, blaming the deaths on the other person, uh, while uh, certain other questions could have been asked in the same circumstances. Uh, what I would also point out is the fact that, uh, you know, uh, people are, the Telugu Desam has also pointed out that this is, could be also be seen as a police failure because the stampede happened in uh, uh, in uh, Kanduku town of Nellu district. Uh, permissions were given for both that as well as the uh, Telugu Desam's event in Guntur, which I must point out was, uh, of course, I said uh, was organized by an NGO, but the police right. has also pointed out that the permissions for it were in fact taken by the Telugu Desam. Back All to right. Ankita.